We are changing the dash lights on a Mazda B3000. I already changed them. I just thought I'd throw this together for somebody who needs to do it. First thing I had to do was just pop your radio panel out. That's held on with two screws on the bottom. You pop that out, just pull it out. And you gotta do that to get your instrument cluster bezel off. And the bezel is held on. Well, first you have to, before you do the bezel, you have to take the plate off the bottom under the steering wheel. This plate here. That just goes in right there. And on that there's a screw in each corner. Then you have two screws holding the hood latch on. So you take those off and this panel pops off. Once you have that off, you have to loosen the screws on the metal plate up here. And I loosen the ones in the corner just to pull this down far enough to get to these screws holding the instrument cluster bezel on. There's one in each corner. You just loosen those, pull that out. And then there was a couple on the bottom and three on the top of the instrument cluster bezel. Then once you get that off, then you can get to the instrument cluster itself. And there is one screw in each corner of that right there. Then once you get that loose, you got to put your key in, turn the gear shift down, and you can get to the back, and you just pull the plugs. You can just squeeze the plugs, and they just pop out. Then you have to pull the gear shift indicator out on the bottom. And on that, there's just little clips on the side of it right here. And then that just slides out. Then you can pull your whole instrument cluster out. Now once you do that, you have, I think, 18 of the small bulbs right here. The white ones. Those just twist counterclockwise. You pull them out. And then you have six of these bigger ones. And one for the anti-theft that's a red plug. So I believe that's 19 small bulbs total and six large bulbs total. So what I got was, went to Napa and I bought packs of these. The LED bulbs did not work. They're too long, so they hit the front of the instrument panel. So then you just put it back together in reverse. You're good to go. Didn't take very long. Pretty easy. That's it.